What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So here goes the truth behind Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. And undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO, World Boxing Organization, welterweight world champion, was widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford, 38 wins, no losses, no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5'8", with a 74-inch arm each. And how he got to sign with BLK, prime.com which happened to be you guys know my partners and how the fight and him between himself and undefeated unified three belt wbc wba ibf welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be top two if not number one in many people's eyes definitely top five best pound for pound fighters in the world and earl the truth spence jr who is 20 eight wins, no losses, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 32 years of age, uh, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch armage, okay? Uh, Errol Spence <clears throat> and Terrence Crawford make for the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. It's for all the marbles undisputed, right? And it's the fight, the most highly anticipated fight in the sport of boxing, right? How did it come to the point where it didn't come to fruition and Terrence Crawford ends up signing with BOK Prime, Blue Buzz Sports TV, and fighting title contender, welterweight, Russian Armenian star boxer David Avenesian. Right? And people are saying, well, Terrence Crawford is ducking Errol Spence. That's not true. Uh, Errol Spence didn't want to make the fight happen with Terrence Crawford. That's not true either. Um, and Terrence Crawford had this plan the entire time to fight David Avenesian over fighting Errol Spence. That's not true. Now, we are going to deal with facts over feelings and logic in this hair video, okay? Because, again, like I said, Many people are not using logic, right? Because they look at David Avenesian, who's 29 wins, three losses, one draw, 17 wins by way of knockout. He himself was stopped one time in his career, 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach. Okay. They look at David Avenesian and they say, well, he's not a viable option for Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford has ducked Errol Spence to fight David Avenesian. That's not true. And just to look at the welterweight landscape, okay? And to look at the ranking systems where David Avenesian ranks. And I know people are gonna say, well, Blue, you're saying that because you have vest vested interests because they're not dealing in logic. I deal in logic facts over feelings, okay? David Avenesian is ranked number six in the WBO, right? That's Terrence Crawford ranking system, okay? David Avenesian is ranked eighth in the IBF which is Ter Errol Spencer's sanction body, okay? David Avenesian is ranked four in the WBC, only behind Keith Thurman, Virgil Ortiz, and Jerome Boutinis, okay? Uh, so David Avenesian is ranked top 10, top five just about in every sanction body, okay? That's number one. Number two, Terrence Crawford, uh, had this plan in place and deal in his back pocket the entire time to duck Errol Spence. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Okay, now, let me enlighten and catch everybody up. Because obviously you guys know I have a partnership with BLK Prime and uh, we are working on this Terrence Crawford fight. Did I help work on this Terrence Crawford fight? Yes. Um. Terrence Crawford, from the moment, let's let's be, I'm going to give it to you honest and real. From the moment it looked like, and us as BOK Prime got the information that the fight may not come to fruition this year between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, and Terrence Crawford wanted to stay active this year, 
So we reached out. And Terrence Crawford made it abundantly clear to us that his number one objective, no disrespect and spite to, towards us, and he was willing to listen to what we had to offer, but his number one objective from the beginning was to fight Errol Spence. Nobody else, okay? He made it abundantly clear from the very beginning, I need to fight Errol Spence Jr. He even stated, I'm gonna fight Errol Spence Jr. because I'm gonna whip his ass. Everybody think that I'm gonna lose to him. I wanna fight Errol Spence. So if that happens to fall through, we can visit the opportunity of giving you guys the opportunity to help me stay busy, right? And so once it got to the twilight hours and Terrence Crawford understood and realized that he was not going to fight Errol Spence this year. So I see people asking me, well, Blue, he had this plan in place. He was already signed to fight David Avenesian. No, he was not. David Avenesian and Terrence Crawford both signed a deal yesterday. When the news broke of the fight, Terrence Crawford had just signed maybe 30 to 40 minutes before that. This is a this is a fact, right? Now, obviously, us being aware that there's a possibility that the fight may not happen this year between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, we started to make plans to see if we could secure a fight with Terrence Crawford between somebody whom he was not aware of who was going to be his opponent because we hadn't gotten that far, but to see if Terrence Crawford, if we going to be able to stage a fight with a fight of the magnitude of Terrence Crawford this year in such a short period of time, we had to start doing our homework and due diligence. So I see people saying, how did it happen so fast? This was already planned. No, it was not. We moved like this, okay? I was in contact with the arenas in Omaha, right? For about a week and a half now, just to see the availability, if they had the availability and what would it take to secure a date? Because Terrence Crawford made it abundantly clear to us as well, that even if he did decide to come with us and fight, that he still wanted to give himself enough time to fight Errol Spence in early 2023 because they started to inform Terrence Crawford that the deal wasn't going to happen. The fight was going to happen to 2023, which would have let Terrence Crawford stay on the shelf from November 20th of 2021 until uh, uh, February, March of 2023. He did not want to stay inactive. So we saw opportunity and we was aware we said we have to move quickly, right? Because we already in the middle of October. So when people are saying, yes, did we contact Terrence Crawford in due time to give ourselves uh, the opportunity to clear everything, the money, uh, uh, um, the, you know, uh, um, the venue, the dates. These are things that obviously Terrence Crawford and his team had to be made aware of. Do we even have the ability to make this happen? Of course, Terrence Crawford, like anybody else, was was, uh, 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 um, was very, very cautious. Right? Okay. So, I was working on arena, and then we're working on opponents. Opponents that is going to be feasible in a short period of time frame, because keep in mind, Terrence Crawford is negotiating his number one objective is to fight Errol Spence and to clear the air. OK, there were times where we were trying to contact Terrence Crawford, see, hey, listen, what's going on? Update is the Errol Spence going to fight going to happen. And Terrence Crawford would say. Either I can't talk to y'all right now, I'm handling this business with Errol Spence or he would just flat out ghost us, period. 
and we wouldn't hear from Terrence Crawford for three, three days, four days. Right? And then Terrence Crawford, he came back with his team and he said, listen, I apologize to you guys. This is a true story. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to deal with y'all because I'm going to agree to everything that Errol Spence has set forth because that's the fight I want to make happen. So I'm about to verbally, before he did it, he let us know and his team, his legal team, let us know that he was going to accept a, a smaller deal, right? Uh, 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 in, in, in when I say a smaller deal, he's going to take 65, 35, whatever split there was, but he was going to take whatever it takes to get the fight done with Errol Spence. Okay. And there was just some things he wanted to iron out in the contract and that he was going to route a fight in Errol Spence. So we backed off. I can show proof of this. This is all facts. So anybody speculating that, oh, he had a deal in place uh, months ago and weeks ago and things of that nature. No, I can show proof that's not the case. I can show records of contacts and information and uh, uh, venues and things we was in contact with. So Terrence Crawford, when people saying he's Duck Errol Smith, he did not. Once it came back this week to Terrence Crawford's awareness that they're looking at 2023 to stage the fight. Terrence Crawford said, I got to stay active this year. They're not looking to put me on with Errol Spence to 2023. What could y'all make happen? I already had started doing the homework on different fighters to be able to put Terrence Crawford in the ring with. But in such a short notice, can we pay a Keith Thurman seven to $10 million right now and pay Terrence Crawford $10 million? And is Keith Thurman going to be ready to fight in six weeks? And Keith Thurman obviously was with the PBC Premier Boxing Champion founder advisor Al Heyman. Is he going to be able to uh, uh, have that quick of a turnaround? No. Uh, in order for us to secure a fight with Jerron Boots Ennis. Now, Jerron Boots Ennis obviously is not going to uh, cost us uh, uh, $10 million like Keith Thurman is looking for. But Jerron Boots Ennis, right? is with Showtime right now. He's under contract. So we will have to work out a deal with Showtime and ultimately give them the rights to, to air the fight over us. So we would have to, we have to sign Terrence Crawford, sign the fight, pay the purses, and then sell the fight over to Showtime, which puts them in the driver's seat and us in a passenger seat. And it looks like a Showtime event and instead of a BLKprime.com event, right? Okay, that's not, doable in a short period of time. Now, Jerron Ennis is already training. He's already getting in shape. Okay. Then it boils down to, uh, obviously Connor Ben is not available. Okay. Cody Crowley is looking for big money after his shock and win over Butev. So Cody Crowley is not an option in a short period of time, not a big name. Okay. Uh, and looking for big, massive money, not an option. Okay. Uh, so then you start to go down the list of opponents that are available. Well, I come up with David Avenesia. It's a stay busy fight. It's a tune up fight for El uh, Terrence Crawford. No, no disrespect to David Avenesia, but he's a respected guy in the sport. He's ranked top 10 in all the sanction bodies, uh, even top four in the WBC, top uh, six, really top five in the WBO. Okay, and he's eight in the IBF. And he's not going to break bank in a short period of time. And he's already preparing and training for a November 19th fight. So he's already in shape. He's already in camp. Okay, so I pass the message on. See if Terrence Crawford wants to make a fight with David Avenesian. Will he accept the fight? Obviously, initially he's hesitant, right? Because the fight he got focused on is Errol Spence. So telling you guys the truth, regardless if you want to believe it or not, the truth is the truth. Now you can spin it how you want. Terrence Crawford was still focused on fighting Errol Spence. Okay. So in the last hour, because uh, David Avenesian, he was signed to fight. Okay. We didn't know how that was going to play out because he had a fight coming up. 
Now we got to buy him out his fight and pay his opponent and so on and so forth. There's a lot of things that come along with that, right? But the best viable option for Terence Crawford in a short period of time, in a short window, uh, signing a fight right now would be to put Terence Crawford in his hometown in Omaha, Nebraska, okay? Um, to have Terence Crawford fight, you know, uh, somebody respectable in a top 10 ranking system, but they're going to be in shape. They're not going to break bank. Uh, uh, we need time. If you're going to pay a fighter eight, ten, Terence Crawford ten million, and then another fighter eight million, and to nine to nine to ten million, you need time to promote that fight to be able to secure your investment to get a return on your investment, right? In a short period of time, Terence Crawford just wants to fight. Terence Crawford just wants to stay active, leading up into the Errol Spence fight. He don't want to last for uh, November of twenty twenty one. Okay. That means he had December, then all of 2022, okay? That's 13 months. Now you're talking about uh, February, January, February, March, okay? Now you're talking 16 to 17 months that Terrence Crawford would have been out the ring at 35 years of age, going into a fight, the biggest fight of his career, and not being active against Errol Spence. That don't make sense. When he can make a payday, stay busy, stay active, and fight. So when people are saying he's ducking Errol Spence, he's not ducking Errol Spence. Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight is not happening this year. It's not happening this year. It wasn't going to happen this year. You understand? And so this is a fight for Terrence Crawford to stay active. He's not ducking Errol Spence because he still could fight Errol Spence in March. Period. Now, what happened to negotiations it, uh, uh, preceding us between himself and, Terrence, and, and Errol Spence, right? We can only go by what Terrence Crawford stated, right? Which is that, you know, uh, uh, um, the powers that be, as he told me, and then he told us, and he told my business partners, right? The powers that be are looking to make, uh, 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 are not looking to stage the fight behind the scenes they're not eager to make the fight happen between uh terence crawford and errol spence period that's just it is what it is that the powers that be are not not eager they want terence crawford to take they're not va they don't value terence crawford in high regards and so because they don't value terence crawford in high regards right Terrence Crawford obviously views himself in high regards because Terrence Crawford looks at it from a standpoint of, well, I am bringing 50% of the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. Which he is. So that's the truth about Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, and how Terrence Crawford came to BLK Prime and that Terrence Crawford not ducking Errol Spence to fight David Avenesian. Regardless of people, yeah, people are in their emotions. They, they're not dealing in logic. They're not dealing in facts over feelings. If if Errol Spence and PBC announced that they're going to fight uh, 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 Terrence Crawford in 2023, why do you expect Terrence Crawford not to be, or why do you why do you uh, think that Terrence Crawford should shit on the shelf all of 2022 instead of staying active? That doesn't make sense. Period. Just the just the bottom line. The truth is the truth, regardless of how you want to perceive it or spin it. The fact remains is that Terrence Crawford didn't duck Errol Spence. He didn't have a plan in place and a deal in place already uh, uh, to fight David Avenesian to avoid Errol Spence. That's not the case at all whatsoever. Period. It is what it is. Okay? So, you can take it or leave it. Whatever you want to do with it. I deal in facts over feelings. And uh, Terrence Crawford, David Avenesian is going to fight December 10th. Okay, he was actually looking to fight earlier than that, right? Or uh, 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 he wanted to have the fight so he could secure the Errol Spence fight. So you could believe me or not, the fact is I know in negotiations and trying to get Terrence Crawford to agree to sign with BLKPrime.com for fact, that Terrence Crawford number one objective was all his focus was fighting Errol Spence. He, like I said, he even told us, listen, you know, uh, no disrespect to you guys, uh, 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 appreciate you guys uh, even considering me, but I, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna accept all the terms so I could go ahead and fight uh, uh, Errol Spence Jr. 
obviously there's some things in, in that he wanted to be, you know, ironed out before he accepted it. Whatever those things may be, it didn't it didn't get ironed out. As they as they told you yesterday, they sent him a revised contract uh, two weeks ago to fight in 2023. That came from Errol Spencer's side. We sent him a revived contract two weeks ago to stage the fight in 2023, which let you know two weeks ago they was telling Terrence Crawford he wasn't going to fight this year. Two weeks ago means early October because we're in the middle of October. So two weeks ago, they was telling you, telling him that he ain't fighting this year. What is he to do? But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.